On the streets of Sao Paulo, the commercial heartland of Brazil, and home to 17 million people, the Paulistanos are more upbeat than they've been in ages. With good reason. After years of almost achieving economic stardom, Latin America's powerhouse is again in the limelight, with high hopes for its future and its burgeoning trade relationship with the economic giant of Asia. Brazil's caught China fever. The last year has been growing at 5.4%, and a lot of that is due to the growth of exports to China. China is also pulling in raw materials from all over the world and helping to keep raw material prices up. That's been very good for Brazil. China is the world's most populous nation, but has just 7% of its fresh water, 3% of its forests, and 6% of its arable land. In sharp contrast, Brazil is rich in all three and is a major supplier of everything from soya, orange juice and grain to coffee, sugar and beef. Brazil's exports to China have soared more than 500% in the past five years. Total trade between the two countries jumped from $1.5 billion in 1999 to $9.1 billion this year. China has surpassed the United States in the consumption not only of basic food products, but also every energy and industrial commodity except oil. By 2003, the mainland was already using more than twice as much steel as the United States, and Brazil's steel sector, which was privatized in the early 1990s, can easily feed the hungry dragon. China, over the last few years, has been consuming a significant and increasing quantity of steel. In 2003, 36% of our export volume and 20% of our products went to China. It's not just a one-way street. Investment is flowing into Brazil as well. Some of China's biggest telecoms companies, Huawei and ZTE, have already entered the local market. CVRD, the world's largest iron ore producer, has joined with China's Bao Steel in an $8 billion steel plant in Brazil. And Petrobras, Brazil's national energy champion, has teamed up with Sinopec, the mammoth Chinese energy firm, for a joint venture in exploration and in a 1,200-kilometer pipeline linking southern to northern Brazil. First big investment, but not last. <laughs> Brazilian President Lula's visit to China in May 2004, which was reciprocated by Chinese President Hu Jintao last November, highlighted the significance of the new relationship. But it also exposed at least one potential pitfall. Two days before Lula arrived in Beijing, Chinese customs officials turned back a shipment of soybeans from Brazil, claiming it was contaminated. Many people here, though, believe China was simply using that as an excuse to break its contract with Brazil which was signed when soya prices were at a record high. They uh, see that they are the biggest importer of a given commodity, and they feel that they can manipulate the price, they can intervene, intervene in the market. My uh, question for the future is, will China keep acting this way? And there are other questions. With its success in raw commodities, should Brazil sit back and enjoy being a farm, a forest, and a mine? or aggressively pursue the value-added route taken by Asia's economic tigers. The risk is perhaps that Brazil becomes perceived as only a supplier of natural, uh, natural resources like iron ore or soybeans or wood, and Brazil is much more than this. Brazil still faces major homegrown barriers to achieving its goal of unparalleled expansion over the next 20 years. It must do everything to tackle its very complicated political system and its economic policies which are a result of it. It has 61 different taxes, 10 different tariffs, it's got the highest interest rates in the world, its exchange rate is overvalued. Uh, all of that requires straightforward political reform and it has to be simple. If Brazil could find the political will and the economic vision to implement these reforms that are easy uh, compar com in comparison Chinese reforms, Brazil will become and is predestined to become a great economic power. Brazil has already defied the odds, growth of more than 5% with interest rates of 18%. That's a miracle, huh? 
a miracle that hasn't been lost on a nation which has dreamed of better times. Brazil has long been called the country of the future. Brazilians would like that future to finally arrive.